Hi, I'm Yaka and I pronounce Jammer B as Jammer B. Today I'll show you how to configure it so we can run our favorite games. We won't be starting from the beginning because I already have Jammer B installed and I already have Ashenjare installed. It's just not configured yet. So let's pretend this is a non issue. Icewindale can be installed with Wine, Jammer B can be installed any way you want. So let's just start. So we might be thinking, hmm, let's just run Jammer B. Let's see what happens. Okay, that didn't work. I don't see my Icewindale. But let's see what Jet tried to open a config file but couldn't find any of the default ones so I guess we'll have to make a new one I know that the packager that did uh, the Arch Linux package put the config file into etc just not the one there so let's try the sample config that comes bundled with jmrb okay we get a different error now we see that it opened the config file successfully, but there's something wrong with the cache directory. Okay, this is a classic problem with the good old games because they did something with the original data and left over a directory in the cache, which Jammer doesn't want because you know you could set the cache there to any path on the system, and since Jammer clears it. We want to be sure it's empty, so it can be used like as a, as, as a sort of attack. So let's see what's in cache. Cache. Data. Okay, data is what is empty. So let's just delete it. That's what it complained about and retry. Whoa, okay. We got a lot farther this time found the config, it loaded all the general plugins, so we're on a good way blah blah blah, ok it's complaining about paths ok that seems logical, we didn't say where our Icewind Dale is so apparently we won't be able to use this default config but we'll have to specify where the game is so let's just do that Okay, this is the config sample that comes with Jammer B. It is heavily commented, but we'll ignore this for now. It's important to remember that you have to edit just two things. One is the game type. So let's uh, tell Jammer B that we'll not not be attempting to run Baldur's Gate, but Icewind Dale. As you can see above here, you can specify Icewind Dale or Heart of Winter, but choose Heart of Winter mode if you have both because the engine and the experience will be much better if you choose this so now we specified the game type the game name is not important this is just the title that will be displayed in the window screen in the window in the window title window decoration if you don't run at full screen so let's just get down to the relevant part which is the path to the game data okay this is it and this is some default path that doesn't exist in my system, so of course it doesn't work. I know by hardware I installed Icewind Dale, so I'll just type it. If you need to, you just look it up. Uh, I think it was Icewind. Come. Oh no, 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 it's I will do complete. Okay. The CD paths are not really important, so let's just comment it, comment them out because the good old games version is already a full install, so this should work as is. Okay, now le let's retry with this new config. Okay, it seems it's working. This is the intro video. Okay, let's just create the game really fast. Boom, boom, boom. Let's have a druid that hates lizard man and is proficient in daggers. 
has a female voice I forgot okay it's a male let's have a male voice then and his name will be Yufru Okay, this is the beginning of the Heart of Winter extra. This is the character we created, and it seems everything is working. Except, apparently, <laughs> the tree doesn't know any spells. Okay, we'll fix that, but the point of this exercise was to get Jammer but to run the game at all. And we succeeded, so thank you for listening, this is it.